Alrighty guys, figured I'd give you this new video and this new method I found for the iCloud Bypass. I'm recording in 4K right now, so I really want to help you guys out and show you each step. Don't mind the trigger on the paper there, I just want to lay that down to protect such a beautiful device. And for right now, when you have a device with iCloud, such as the 6S, see, let me show you there, iPhone 6S, you'll know that this is nothing more than a paperweight with the iCloud. But I'm going to turn it back and your device that has the iCloud back into a beautiful device again. Of which you'll be able to use as a brand new device. Now right off the bat, if you need me or one of my friends to step by step give you the instructions for this bypass, you can subscribe to my channel to call us with the number in the description. That's our company number. It only works if you subscribe. We have a system made that as soon as you call, we'll check that if you're a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, it's not going to work properly. So, okay, so let me just show you about this device here. Like I said before, this is a, sorry about that, this is a iPhone 6S for AT&T. It has the iCloud lock. I do not know the password and there's no other way around this so the only way left to be able to use this device is to bypass the iCloud okay so there's iCloud on this device it's very low battery as you can see I better charge that in a little bit well I'm gonna be plugging in so okay so it has iCloud on the device okay and there's password presence as the iCloud and Apple ID. So if either one of those are present, then it's you can't use the device at all. So it's not on it just at the moment. But I'm going to be restoring the device and it will probably be at the screen that you guys are at. So without further ado, what you're going to want to do here is hold down the power and home. Okay, now after you, that happens, you want to let that go for a little bit. Okay, power it on. There we go. It's kind of looking weird whenever I did that, but yeah, this, this method will work for any device all the way up to the iPhone 7. And... Yeah, like I said before, I hope the quality is looking good for you guys because I am recording in 4K right now. I'm not going to do any video editing, so to lose any of the quality. And this method will work for any iOS. Um, we're about at 10.0.0.2 or 10. Point, yeah. And that will work for all I iOS's all i devices iPhone 7 6s 6 5s 5 pretty much all of them I don't check on the older devices anymore I don't ever run into those to buying those devices they are just too old for my use and yeah so once it's back on Pasco whatever you just plug this into the computer once you plug it into the computer you want to restore the device so you're back to the hello screen that you guys are probably already at so if you're already at that then just listen to the tutorial from here okay so once it's plugged in restored and everything like that you want to connect to the DNS server and I will provide the username and password. It's in the other video if I have it going on. I just didn't want to make this video too long. But we can just relay all the information to you if you call us. You just have to subscribe first. So I really hope this video helps. It's very easy. You just need to do the method I did there and then restore the device to get to the point of which you can just call us and we'll explain the information about the what DNS server you need to use. And the username and password for the server because once it connects to the server it's not going to be one of those stupid things that 
just allows you to use Safari, your camera, and stuff like that. You'll actually be able to use the device to fully, to the full extent. You'll be, the iCloud account will be removed, Apple ID, any previous data on the device will be removed, and you'll be able to use it as a new device. So just subscribe to my channel and check out the number in the description. Once you're subscribed, just call us and we'll re relay the information. Or if you want to see the video, we have the other older video tutorial where we show the same method. It should still be working, but this one, this way is a little different. So just use everything up from this video to that and it should work. So just call us. Subscribe and call us. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.